Hey there, Sonia Ash here. Today I want to show you a tutorial on changing colors in Photoshop. Um, we're going to do that using the hue saturation method and we're going to use our new flowing fabric overlays. So I've got a picture all set here um, and I've also got a flowing fabric overlay right here. So we're going to grab this with our pointer tool as you can see we have that selected. So we're going to drag that up to this tab. We're going to drop it in. Now we're going to transform this. Uh, this corner here should probably be, be done in her hand. So we're going to edit, transform. And first of all, let's flip that horizontal. Okay, so now we've got it over here. Now what we need to do is we need to get it done in her hand. So we're going to transform that again. Edit, transform, scale. Now you'll see this reference point down in the middle. Um, by default it's located at the center of every image. What I want to do is I want to drag this corner down to right about where I want it to be. I'm going to drag the reference point now right over to that corner. Now if we um, go to the corners of the image we can, um, I'm sorry, let's rotate this, sorry. So now what we're going to do is we're going to rotate it and it's going to rotate right from that reference point. So we'll rotate it to right about where we want it to be. And then we'll grab one of these handles. Uh, let's right click first and go back to scale. We'll grab one of these handles and we'll scale it down. And then let's just move that right back where it's supposed to be. Okay. And I think that looks good right about there. So now we've got it positioned right about where we want it in her hand. Now the next thing we want to do is change the color. So what I'm going to do using the hue saturation method is the first thing I'm going to do, I think we want to try you know, this red here. Um, as you can see, I've got red selected here. But what you want to do is grab your eyedropper tool. And that will allow you to pick up any color. Um, anywhere on your image and you can see that it changes your foreground color here when you click on it. So let's get this nice sort of bright red right in there. Okay, now once I've got that selected, we're going to go up to Image, Adjust, Hue Saturation. Okay, now what we want to do is simply click on this Colorize button and that will change the color somewhat. It really mutes the saturation, so all you need to do is bring your saturation up to about where you want it. I think that looks good, pretty good right there. And then click OK. Now if you want to further enhance these colors somewhat, um, image adjust, go to levels, and you can bring down your blacks to make it a little denser, and you can also bring up your whites somewhat. And we'll kind of leave it right there. Now I think for the finishing touch on this, I would add a layer mask. I would grab my brush tool. And it's a soft edge. I would change my color, my foreground color to black. And while painting in the mask, I would just try and make this a little more realistic in her hand. So let's sort of paint out some of this. Maybe get her, get her fingers in there, like actually grabbing it. And you can see I've painted out too much. So let's change that foreground color to white. Let's paint back in the areas that we need to. There we go. And I think that gives it a more realistic look that she's actually holding it. And that is how we change our colors using the hue saturation method.